Hi, in this video I will show you FoxPro DBF to SQL app. It's for conversion FoxPro DBF files into SQL files. This is my website. I will leave link to the site in the description. To find app, I can go and type in search FoxPro to SQL. Click on a page, double click on the load to start downloading the process and wait until archive will be downloaded on my computer. Then click on downloaded archive, double click on MSI inside archive, click on more input here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher known just click anyway to start the installation click on next next install and click on yes and finish yep and you can see the new app has been installed my computer have a shortcut on my desktop now i can close this and minimize this and i'll double click on shortcut to start the app now first step i have to select input ppf file i'll click to select input file button to uh, my PDF I want. Let's find this. So, like this one. And just double click on select DBF file. Click on next step. <clears throat> Here I have to specify if I want to add ID field. Now, ID field is important for SQL Server because it's under the file record and it's usually an is auto increment and it's usually like primary key record. But if I have a primary key DBF, I don't have to do it. But I'll say I don't have it, so I'll check. Here I have to specify SQL database. It could be my it could be my SQL SQLite or SQL Server. I'll specify SQL Server. And click on next step. Click on preview. I here I can uh, preview new table statement and all my data in there. So and search statement. So I can say or save result of this as a SQL file. And I can specify name of the SQL file and location. This name and location is here. Just click save. And the file has been saved. And I can go and open it into ID field, right? And you can see this is like SQL file for Microsoft SQL Server. I can run this file on SQL Server and or I can send it to my network administrator and he can run it and uh, SQL excuse me, SQL DBA, and he can run it and uh, this script will create table with all my data in it from the DBA. Yeah, so basically that's it. Uh, we can go and open DBF. I have a DBF viewer. This is my another app and just it's for viewing DBF files. And yeah, this is uh, showing what was originally into DBF file and also this app I can export to Excel Word or different formats. But it's a like quick view of what is inside the DBF. So yeah basically that's it. Um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments. Thank you.